Hi, everyone. My name is Precious, and I'm running for the Humanities Student Council for 2016. Um, so basically, our faculty councils need strong leadership that will tackle issues on the ground and also um, in terms of policy making and implementation. If elected, I want to focus on three things. Firstly, I want to focus on decolonizing the curriculum. I think colonization manifests itself um, in the everyday life of this institution, um, but more especially in our curriculum. I remember last year in, in economic history doing like a, an essay on the benefits of colonization. And at that time, I didn't realize that it was actually romanticizing colonization. So I think if we tackle decolonizing the curriculum, that would be great. Um, and it can conscientize um, students in terms of like what actually happens in Africa and how we can um, contribute um, to um, the issues that we face in this um, country and this continent as academics. Secondly, I want to focus on the crisis fund. Um, I think through fundraising initiatives, um, the Humanities Fac Faculty Council can um, actually aid desperate students. Um, oh, wow. Um, yeah, so guys, please work for me. And if you have any questions, please come ask me. So hi guys, so my name is Ali Lamini. I'm a third year history and uh, media student, and I'm here to ask you guys to work with me. The reason why I want you guys to work with me is because as I've, since first year, I've seen a high level of people suffering from depression from first year, second year, and third year. Depression is a huge crisis right in the humanities faculty and in the UCT broader society. The reason why I want to address this is because I feel like there's nothing being done about these issues. Obviously, there are other issues that I also want to address on, but I'm running specifically for health and safety within the humanities faculty. I want to address this in four ways. My four possible solutions are, I want to establish a council that will deal with these issues, these health and mental issues every single day. I want, uh, these councils will be uh, formated by, formulated by the students, run by the students, and for the students. My name is Jimmy Ben. I'm from Big East, and I'm running for Humanity Student Council. So I'm not going to promise with earth and power, but I commit myself to act, to act as a link between the faculty and the students. During this year, my first academic year at UCT, I've seen various issues concerning students encompassing the flight experience by students in the structure of their curricula. So I observed the situation and came to a point where I realized that action against such issues is needed. And we've been talking about transformation, but not even one action, one decision has been taken to tackle these issues. So I want to use the authority that will be given by you to influence the faculty to consider the opinions of the students. And it's not only that, there are, there are many issues concerning students, probably academic problematic issues. So I want to get there. I need your support, guys. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nikita Maisela, and I'm studying a Bachelor of Social Science in Politics and Economic History. At a pinnacle time where the winds of change are blowing, it is imperative that students' voices are being heard. As a representative who is passionate about servant leadership, who is hardworking and dedicated, I believe that I'll be able to work towards ensuring that the voices of fellow students are represented and voiced. The provision of more spaces in which students can engage with departments and student representatives through which academic and social issues are discussed with the aim of addressing them is very important and it's something that I'll work towards. The expansion of the careers expert that presents humanity students with the opportunities and resources that are available following our undergraduate degree and working towards creating lecture spaces that are accommodating for all students, regardless of your abilities. Both Nikita Maisela, advocate for change, accountability, and a council that will serve you. I thank you. Good day, everyone. My name is Apele Jamjana, and I'm running for Humanity Student Council. Should I be given the honor of serving in the Humanity Student Council, I would work towards ensuring that the that O-Week and the orientation program is more structured as to provide students with every bit of information that will fully equip them and ensure that they are 100% ready for the start of lectures. Many students act, struggle academically in the first term because they struggle finding their feet in Cape Town or in university in general. I would work towards ensuring that more support is made available in this regard. I would also work towards more frequent gatherings as a faculty a two-hour faculty assembly once a year is not enough for a faculty as large as ours. Spaces where we can voice our opinions and express our grievances should be made available at least once a term. Hi everyone, I am Nongkulu Lero Moyo running for the Humanities Student Council. And we all can agree that this year has been a very eventful year and humanities is the biggest driver of the greatest conversations that we've heard on transformation. And I'm running here to say that we need responsive leaders who will take up the challenge of running the council and ensuring that all voices are represented equally and not only represented but also informed because we need to have sessions where there are lectures where we are 
are taught on pan-Africanism, we are taught on decolonization and all the gender issues so that when we make opinions, they are informed. We also need to cater for students who come from underprivileged backgrounds, who find issues with actually submitting little things like weekly assignments because they were never exposed to such opportunities. And honestly, if you are a leader, you should cater even for the pettiest of things, such as ensuring that the humanities departments have staples when people submit. We also have to be conscious of our health. That's why I advocate for health drives. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. My name is Olorato Mokumuzi. I'm a current PPE student at here. Um, I'm running for HSC because I believe in altruistic leadership. I am the leader for the people. I always try to advance the community collectively. There are certain issues that the university actually faces and the faculty in, in particular. What I want to focus on is to continue to drive the, the steadfasting of uh, decolonization in the university. And especially one thing that I want to address in particular is transformation, not in terms of just race transformation, but we also need to deal with other prejudices in the university, such as the prejudice against the LGBTI community and, re and uh, religious uh, uh, transformation as well. So like, I'd like for you guys to vote for me, especially to, to deal with transformation issues. But that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. My name is Priyanka Naidu, and I'm running for the HSC. From campaigning, I realized that a lot of people are unaware of the functions of the HSC. It is more than a representative council. It is the link between the students and the decisions made by the faculty for them. It is a collective of voices and interests, a collective I would very much like to be a part of. I don't think that it, there has ever been a more interesting time to be alive, and especially at UCT. We live in an ever-changing world where social hierarchies are being challenged and dismantled. This being said, transformation has never been more relevant than it has been today. This, of course, is the reason behind my slogan, Change is Coming. The ellipsis indicates a potential for change, the potential and anticipation of something more to come. I think that it's prominent that we are here today in the recently renamed AT Jordan Building. This is a concrete example of the inevitability of change. Our voice counts now more than ever. I've always lived by the saying that the future belongs to the few of us who are willing to get our hands dirty. Vote for change, because change is coming. Um, good day, everyone. My name is Hadley Horsey, um, and I'm also running for Humanity Children Council 2016. Um, firstly, I'm a bit passionate about the issue that I'm running about, so never mind if my voice quivers or anything like that. I'm running because, as my slogan says, dignity should not be a commodity. When I say this, I mean that in UCT, as a faculty, humanity student faculty, we find that we are placed at the bottom of the food chain of UCT. We are stigmatized, we aren't given the dignity that we should have. And this is a very huge problem. And secondly, I find that even if you are in the humanities faculty and you're in the EDU program, it seems as if the situation is way more worse. You are granted literally zero dignity. People disrespect you because they think that you are a lesser um, thinker or a lesser academic than them because they're in the mainstream program. And I find this very problematic. So what I'm saying to you is dignity should not be a commodity that is only afforded to those who in, are in a particular faculty. Hi everyone, my name is Nadi Chidiza. I'm a second year student and I'm running for Humanities Student Council. The four goals that I'd like to achieve should I get an HSC are the following. Firstly, to increase communication with students. This could be done through having more student gatherings, um, continuing the legacy that Laura has left of having in Zoe because she had one in Real Marvel, just continuing that open communication. Or alternatively, we could have suggestion boxes whereby you slip in any complaints or any um, things that you'd like to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'd like to implement career guidance for humanity students. I feel that it is a bit unfortunate that us as humanities students, we don't have a day dedicated to us when there's a career expo. So I'd like to collaborate with the uh, career services and implement it. I know it will be a challenge, but it's something I'm willing to work towards. Thirdly, I would like to ensure that the teaching environment is conducive for all students, including those with various physical limitations or any other limitations, just to ensure we all have... Um, hi everyone, my name is Lola Nyati, Canada number 11. Um, I'm studying. A, I'm a first year BSOC science student, studying majoring in politics and economic history. Um, basically, I, it's safe to say that I share the same vision as my fellow peers. And um, Nelson Mandela once said, "It's better to be a leader from behind and then put others' needs in front." 
I would like to serve you guys. I've um, had the opportunity to be a curriculum coordinator for Inganyezi, as well as work closely with the AD department in ensuring that um, there are changes being made within the curriculum and acceptance process. I'd like to take those skills um, and apply them to the HSC and have a larger platform to work and serve my people. And yeah, that's me. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sakile Tembe, studying towards a Peace Side degree in International Relations and Public Policy. I am here as a candidate for the Humanity Student Council of 2016. I want you to vote for me because my visions for this faculty are collective and need teamwork to address the needs of the humanity student. I want to tackle the small issues first. Stateless must be available at all touch submission locations and boxes. We need more humanities-based career expos, seminars, and events at the Leslie Social Building. For example, we need to be bringing humanities alumni who will be helping and guiding the students with, their, with career advice in terms of their interdisciplinary degrees and what to do with them after studying. These are some of the small issues that I want to fix to make students' lives easy on campus. Greater problems such as transformation and integration can be solved through the input from the council. I believe that all aspects of the council are important and when put together and used to their full extent can bring about better results. 2015 at UCTS. Oh. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rion. As humanity students, we dream of being activists, philosophers, theorists, and artists to better understand and improve the human condition. However, many of these dreams are called into question by the gap between the degrees we are passionate about and the career opportunities out there. It is because of this gap that I decided to run for HSC. If I am elected, I will work closely with the UCT Career Services in order to improve the annual Humanities Expo and to expose students to more opportunities to better, to better their career skills with respect to the relevant degrees. By doing this, I believe we can restore the pride of being humanities students. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Vote Rion for HSC. Thank you.